A folding yo-yo unwinding from a string follows the same non-slip conditions as a rolling wheel. The string does not slip, and therefore there must be friction between the string and the yo-yo, but because the string doesn't slip, no work is done by friction. Hence, mechanical energy is conserved. So the initial kinetic energy of our yo-yo is zero, and its initial potential energy, we will say, is equal to the mass of the yo-yo, m times g times h, where we are taking here the final height of the yo-yo to be the zero potential energy position. The final potential energy is zero, and the final kinetic energy is the yo-yo's translational energy plus its rotational energy, so that's a half times its mass times the velocity of its center of mass squared plus a half times the moment of inertia times omega squared. The moment of inertia is actually equal to a half times the mass times the radius of the yo-yo squared, r squared. And since there is no slipping, omega squared is equal to the velocity of the center of mass squared divided by r squared, the radius of the yo-yo squared. Therefore, since mechanical energy is conserved, the initial mechanical energy must be equal to the final mechanical energy. So the initial mechanical energy is just mgh, and then the final mechanical energy is a half mvcm squared plus a half of a half mr squared times the velocity of the center of mass squared divided by r squared, the radius of the yo-yo squared. Rearranging that equation and simplifying, we end up with the equation that the velocity of the center of mass is equal to the square root of 4 divided by 3 times the acceleration due to gravity times h, the distance that the yo-yo has unwound.